Good morning out there, YouTubians, and welcome to our ongoing series, Conversations with a Cat of Extraordinary Intellect. Our guest is Mr. Mackie McKeith, the renowned feline philosopher and non-verbal communicator. Let's join Mr. McKeith out on his deck. Good morning, Mr. McKeith. Another beautiful Southern California day. Now, as we all know, you are very distraught over the recent election of Donald Trump. But we see you here finishing up your yoga regimen, Namaste. And your recent marriage to the lovely Lady Cecily has brought, I would imagine, great joy to your life. Shall we go inside and meet her and uh, begin our interview? Oh, Lady Cecily, what a great pleasure it is to meet you. Now, your husband and I have a great deal to talk about today, so we should get down to business. Mr. McKeith, shall we begin our interview? Mr. McKeith? Mr. McKeith? Okay, five minutes. Ah, uh, there you are, Mr. McKeith. All right, now, let's get right into it. We all know you hate Donald Trump, and you hated the recent election, but your critics say you should just suck it up and admit that, Do oh, you just want to scratch his eyes out. Just admit that Donald Trump won the election fair and square by getting uh, almost three million votes less than his opponent. And there he is. Now, Mr. McKeith, let's get down to specifics about Mr. Trump and why you dislike him so much. Yes, you, you, the color orange is the bottom line. You feel he exudes the aura of orange and you think he is giving the color orange a bad rap. Well, of course, we can see you are an orange kitty and whereas you consider yourself a, a ginger gentleman, he's nothing but a ginger jerk, okay. Specifics, please. Let's start with his hair. Fine, that sounds like an easy target. We can see that your hair is, oh, well coiffed and well groomed, but meanwhile his is, what? Wacky and tacky and ecologically unsound. Oh, because of the aerospray he uses. All right, now, what else? There's his paws, his puny little paws. Okay, we can see that your paws are very beautiful, but within are hidden weapons of mass deconstruction. Yes, I have seen your sofa. But what about Mr. Trump? Oh, his puny little paws. They just keep making little circles in the air like like he's washing windows or, or doing the Charleston. Oh, that's when they're not typing out stupid tweets. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, you think he has Twitterette syndrome? Yes, that makes sense, actually. What else? His mouth. Yes, yes, he does have diarrhea at the mouth. He just keeps spewing out one absurdity and post-truth after the other. Whereas your mouth stays closed and silent and maintains its sphinx-like serenity. Absolutely. You know, I've heard it. I've I've heard this rumor that you so dislike Mr. Trump that you have mounted a campaign as the anti-Trump, and it's actually gaining quite a bit of uh, force and movement across the country. Now, Kitty Ann, your press secretary, has just informed me that Donald Trump is so outraged by this campaign that he has vowed to arrest and deport all orange kitties. Ooh, that's some serious pussy grabbing. But now your personal secretary tells me it's time for us to conclude today's interview because you must make your daily appearance on your balcony to greet your fans. Uh, is it possible that we could take a peek? 
And so, ladies and gentlemen of Utopia, it is time for us to conclude our program. Uh, and we sincerely hope you will be with us next time to bash Donald Trump. Thank you so much for listening to us. Till next time. Well, Hector, I think that went pretty well. What? The only thing you want to grab is a brewski? Sounds good to me. Hey, turn off the camera. <laughs>